I have a GE dryer GTD42 East 2 WW the dryer will not start I'm looking for fuse location hashtag STD38400 shows it near terminal block but it is not there. How old is your GE dryer? Is the door switch working properly? Two and a half years old. What have you tried so far with your G dryer? When I open the dryer door light comes on so it is getting 110 checked inlet outlet and high temp fuse all good. There is a bus type fuse on schematic I cannot find. Anything else we should know to help you best? Dryer is basically disassembled I cannot find the bus fuse schematic shows it next to the terminal block. Good afternoon. My name is I'll be assisting you with your appliance today. Please give me a moment to review your question. Okay. Okay, you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Customer attachment December 6, 2019, 1020 and 23 seconds p.m. The fuse is not backed by the power cord. If you're sure the dryer is getting power from your house, then it sounds like the thermal fuse mounted to the upper right side of your heating canister has probably failed. The heating canister is behind the dryer drum so you have to take the dryer apart from the front first and remove the drum to see the heating canister and the thermal fuse on the upper right corner of the canister. Below is a link to the thermal fuse you'd need to order for your model. In addition to that, I have a link to a video on how to take your dryer apart. We are on the honor system here. If you need anything else, just let me know. You can continue asking follow-up questions at no additional charge after rating my service if you still need assistance. As I mentioned the thermal fuse is good and if it was the thermal fuse the drum would still rotate which it does not. Incorrect. The thermal fuse will stop the drum from running as well. But either way there is a bus fuse as you said. Okay, so there are three fuses, inlet, outlet, and thermal, correct? The thermal fuse will stop the drum from running as well. But either way there is a bus fuse as you said. The bus fuse is inside the dryer. It's against the back wall above the terminal block where the power cord connects, but you still have to take the dryer apart and remove the drum to access that fuse as well. Okay, I have the drum pulled out several inches and following the wires from where the terminal block on the outside where plug connects I see no fuse or another terminal block. Customer attachment December 6, 2019, 1031 and 45 seconds p.m. Remove the drum and take a picture of the inside of the dryer back wall and I'll draw an arrow showing you where it is. Customer attachment December 6, 2019, 1036 and 12 seconds p.m. Hmm, I know your parts diagram says you have a fuse, but it doesn't appear you do. Follow the black wire from your power cord into the drum and trace it. The fuse is in line with this black wire which should go up to your timer in the control panel. If it has a fuse, it would be connected to that black wire between the terminal block and the timer. I know it is weird they show it and sell it but I cannot find it thanks for your help. Parts diagrams aren't always right, they use the same ones for multiple models and just change numbers around. Either way, those two brown wires in the upper right corner go to your thermal fuse. Try to unplug those wires then test continuity through the fuse. Don't test with the wires plugged in or you can get a false reading. That will stop your dryer from running if it's open. Other than that, there is a belt switch next to the motor that the tensioner pulley pushes on. Bypass this and see if the dryer will turn on. If not, then you'll need to test the door switch, 
start switch, and finally the timer itself would be bad if all that tests good. That's a tough lesson to learn. Okay, thanks. Sure thing. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.